Good morning, girls and boys. I wonder if you can work out what I am today. Well, I hope you don't get a shock. I'm a rabbit, and I'm going to, from the fairy ball. So I've dressed up as a fairy, but I'm also a rabbit, and I, my name's Lettuce, and I'm off to the fairy ball. So let's see. Lettuce Rabbit and her family lived high up on top of a hill. Nibble, nibble, hop, hop, every day was the same until one summer afternoon. Lettuce was making daisy chains when she felt a sharp tug. The daisy chain stretched and ping! It broke and whisked away. Two tiny figures with shimmering wings were pulling it through the air. Stop! shrieked Lettuce. All of a sudden, they swooped down a hole in the roots of a dark old oak tree. Lettuce pressed her nose inside, but she was too big to go through. Who are you? she cried. What are you doing? Lettuce jumped back. Suddenly, in front of her was a group of tiny people. Rabbit laughed. Our queen needs your daisy chain. For the fairy ball in fairyland. Fairyland? squeaked Lettuce. I'd like to go to fairyland, but I'm too big. If you give us your chain, we will sprinkle fairy dust on you, giggled a chorus of little voices, and the air filled with golden sparkles. A tissue! sneezed Lettuce. Suddenly she was shrinking and shrinking. And then she was no bigger than an oak leaf. Happily, Lettuce dashed into the hole after the fairies. Inside it was dark, but soon she came to a door and through it was Fairyland! Quickly now, said the fairies, it's time to put on your best clothes to welcome the queen. Lettuce's face fell. What was she going to wear? Don't worry, laughed the fairies. Just close your eyes. Lettuce stood still. She could feel something soft and light, smelling of flowers dropping over her ears. It was the prettiest little dress trimmed with thistle down. Just then, a bossy elf cried. Make way for Her Majesty, Queen Tatiana! The Fairy Queen has arrived. She was riding in a carriage made of yellow rose petals drawn by a yellow bird and her reins were Lettuce's daisy chain. Welcome, little rabbit. Thank you for my beautiful reins, smiled the Queen, holding out a tiny bracelet. This is for you. It will grant you one wish. Use it well. The young elves brought out the most wonderful fairy feast. Afterwards, everyone danced, especially Lettuce. There they all are, dancing at the ball. All too soon it was time to go. We won't forget you, Lettuce, cried the fairies, waving goodbye. Wait, squeaked Lettuce, I'm still small. Just then, a cloud of fairy dust floated down, making Lettuce's nose stick. The ground felt all wobbly, and she was growing bigger and bigger and bigger, until she was the right size. In two hops and a jump, Lettuce was home. She bounced in to tell her family all about the fairies. They're ever so small and pretty, she sighed. Oh, I wish you could see them too. Just then, the magic bracelet on her paw glowed and Lettuce was sure she heard fairy laughter. Lettuce's brothers and sisters couldn't believe their eyes. Fluttering above them were hundreds of smiling fairies. As she gazed up, Lettuce murmured happily, My wish came true! I'm such a lucky rabbit! The end. Well, boys and girls, I hope you like that story.
Now today, for your lessons, you need to make sure that not only do you read the timetable, but you do the activities scheduled on Seesaw. I'm looking forward to all your great work that you're going to send through today. So happy Monday and enjoy your day.